Welcome back. Ashley Metzger is with us today from the Desert Water Agency. We're talking about drinking water. Also an event in a bit to, to, tonight that you can find out more about what's in our drinking water and some of the issues going on with, with water. It's good to have you here with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, we wanted to talk to people. You know, I get calls pretty frequently about different issues that people observe with their water. Um, and we're very lucky here to have extremely high quality water. So I love taking the time to kind of explain these things. Um, chlorine mm -hmm. is one of them. Sometimes people smell uh, or taste a very faint trace of chlorine. There is water that mm -hmm. we, we chlorinate to send it through our system. That is absolutely normal. It's all to keep the water safe and healthy sure. as it travels through the pipes. If you don't care for that taste or smell, you can just put a glass or a pitcher in the fridge mm -hmm. and let it sit for a few minutes. Then it'll be good to go. Hmm, interesting. And the, you, you, speaking of the high quality of the, the, the water, we get it primarily from the aquifer underground. Uh, wells pump it up to the surface. And it's, it's cleaner, they say, I guess, than, than, than river water, uh, which a lot of cities around America get their, their water, but we don't really have flowing rivers out here either. So Desert Water Agency is unique in the valley because yeah. we also have a couple streams that mm. we pull surface water from. And that water is actually, that snow melt is also very high quality. The qualities are just a bit different. Mm -hmm. um, groundwater has more mineral content. So uh, you can liken that to, you know, going to the store and purchasing mineral water. It has uh, calcium and, and other vital nutrients that your body actually needs to survive. Yeah. But some people wonder, should I take these things out of the water? Should I get a softener that removes the minerals? And desert water actually, uh, desert water actually doesn't encourage you to do that because yeah. the discharge from those softeners actually has an adverse impact on water quality because it goes back it's, into the groundwater. It's very salted water it that is, comes out is. too. Yep. And high concentrates of, of minerals. The the big question that people have is sometimes you'll pour a glass of water and, and, and there's it's like gray. It's like it, maybe they say little bubbles in it. Yes. So some people say it looks cloudy or milky, yeah. but you're right. It's just little bubbles in the water. So if you pour it, um, you'll see those bubbles. You just set it on the counter and give it about 30 seconds to a minute. Those bubbles will rise from the bottom to the top. And the reason that they're there is because we pressurize our system mm -hmm. uh, so that the water is delivered to your house with a, a nice flow. Well, I feel like I'm learning a lot about water. You have an event, though, tonight where people, if they have questions or just want to know more about our issues here in the desert, there's an event. Tell us about this. Yes, this event will talk about how water quality standards, how uh, infrastructure, how all of these different factors actually may affect your water bill. Hmm. So our regional water rates forum, it's put on by CV Water Counts in partnership with UC Riverside at Palm Desert. Uh, it's at their campus at 5 p.m. tonight, and we have some really great speakers, and I, I just can't wait. Okay, well, we'll check it out, and uh, thanks for being here with us today. You can go there, too. I think it's free for the public. So. Free for the public. Please join us. Okay, thanks so much for being here. Uh, Ashley, today here at noon. Thanks so much. Top stories coming up next. We're going to be right back. Stay tuned.